Hi, 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 hi. Uh, welcome back. I'm Seppi, and I have five different tips. Um, I wouldn't say they're tools exactly, but five tips that are gonna make your live 2D life easier and make your workflow faster. You may or may not know some of these, but if you're a beginner in live 2D, please watch and try these things out. It's really, it really helps. Trust me. <laughs> okay. So the first thing I think any beginner of Live 2D should know about is that you don't have to select the text of the ID of any object. You can just have the object selected and press Ctrl C and V into the clipping ID box for when you need to clip objects to each other and it will easily just clip anything. It's, it's a little bit quicker I find. But even quicker is rather than selecting them individually you can just hold shift and click several objects and while you have them selected just hit ctrl c and then for example with this skirt shadow go back to the sh shadow go to the clipping id press ctrl v and you can have multiple objects con uh, copied at any time so the next tip is pretty close to the last one where you could select multiple objects and then you could have multiple IDs selected but with this one you can select one ID and then copy it to multiple clipping IDs. It's really useful with the eyes so with the eye whites you can copy the eye whites ID and then select like the iris, eye highlights and anything else you have on the eye and copy the clipping ID to all of them at once. So yeah. Tip number three is that you can create a keyboard shortcut to open the physics modeling settings. So you can see that I just quickly change it to numpad one, but do whatever is easiest for you. Find a good shortcut. And then once you've set it, you can just quickly open the physics tabs without having to um, open up the menus every single time. And that will just make your life a lot easier. <laughs> So number four might be one that a lot of people know about, but when you're messing with the parameters and you want to go back to the default state, you can just click the reset to default values button that is in the parameters box right there. And yeah, it's pretty useful, I think. <laughs> so the last tip I have for people is if you spend a long time setting up your parameters, and you have all these groups and you don't want to lose that progress on your next model, you can export the settings and then import them to a any new model and it will have all your groups set up for that new model and that is very 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 useful trust me